Hello everyone! So now we're gonna continue on working on our simple beaded bear uh, project. So today I'm gonna show you how to work on the hands or the arms and the legs of the bear. And this is how your uh, project should look like by now. So we have worked on the head and the body. So to continue on, we're gonna work on it. And we're gonna use a uh, sharp nylon monoling string that is 050mm some acrylic rough beads that is 6mm so for visual purposes I'm gonna use another color for the arms so I can show you better and it is uh, we're gonna use separate strings for this so it will be much more convenient so you're gonna cut your string for about an arm length to work on the first arm for the second arm you're gonna cut another set of string that is approximately one arm length too so that is what you need to do before you uh, work on this project hi guys so to start working on the arms part of the project we first must uh, know where to position it so as you can see there's this bead here in between the eyes so that is going to be our marker for the middle part of the project. And then there's going to be a cluster of 5, a cluster of 4, and then a cluster of 5. So from this marker here in the middle, which is the cluster of 5, we're going to count. Uh, and on the third cluster of 5 from that middle part, that is where we're going to put our first arm. So on top of the first or on top of the third cluster of five from the middle we're going to insert our string there and then we're gonna make a cluster of four so for visual purposes I'm gonna use a green one so for two green beads on the right string and then silica with the green one align both ends and then slide that one bead so that it will go to the other beads to form a cluster of four. As you can see, there are three beads on top of the yellow one, which is in the within the body part. So now that we're here, we're gonna insert our string through this one adjacent bead here, going downwards. And then we're going to form a cluster of three. And we're just going to silica up with one green bead to form a cluster of three. So now we should have that. So after that, we're gonna insert our right string or our left string through two adjacent beads at the bottom of that cluster of five. We're also going to position the other string going to the left side of this bead here. And here's where we're going to put a cluster of, for, uh, to form a cluster of three on the other side. We're just going to select up with one bead. Okay? So now it should be like this. There are going to be five, a cluster of five at the bottom part of that piece there. And we are doing this so that the arms is slanting downwards. So I hope that is clear. So in between the cluster of four, there should be two clusters of three. Okay? Hi okay, guys, so now that we have made the tricky part, for the arms it should look like this there should be a cluster of five around that that piece that we have made there so here's where we're gonna put clusters of four around for two rounds in order to have this type here so in order to do that we're gonna put first uh, two green beads on the right string and clinic up with the green one
I'm just working on it around and search your left thing to this one bead here form another cluster of four by putting one green bead on the right and then selling up with the green beads so there's our second cluster of four insert your left string to this one adjacent green bead form another cluster of four by putting one green bead on the right and then selling up with the green bead Now we have that. Insert your left string to this one adjacent yellow bead. And then here, so we're going to form another cluster of four by putting one green on the right and silico with a green bead. And then for the last cluster, Insert your left string through that one adjacent yellow bead. Also for the next one on top of it. And here's where we're going to silico with just a green bead. So now we have the first round of clusters of four around the cluster of five. So for the second round, we're just going to make clusters of four around five times. So to start, we're going to put two green beads on the right string. So link up with a green bead. And just work on uh, three more clusters of four. And I'm going to catch up with you right before I close, okay? Hi guys, so now that we have worked on the clusters of four around, we're now here at the end part. So just insert your right or the left string to this one adjacent green bead. Also for the one next to it, and then we're just gonna close by salik off with one green bead. And then the next thing to do is just to tighten it. And afterwards, uh, running it along several beads so as to fasten it and then cut the string. What I usually do, I pass through one of the ends through the cluster of five that we have formed from the clusters of four. Pass it through there several times so it will be sturdy. And then what that's what you're gonna do for the other end. The other end too. Just pass it through several beads to tighten it. Then afterwards cut the string. And then the next thing to do is we're gonna work on the other arm. It's like this one but in a different position. So I'm gonna catch up with you after that, okay? Okay guys, so this is how it should look like after it's done. It is pointing downwards. And as you can see, there's a slant there. So, we're gonna work on the other arms next. So, just like from the beginning, we're gonna count uh, from the middle part of the cluster of five. So, one, two, three. And here's where we're gonna put our string on top of the third cluster of five from the right and then we're gonna work on the the cluster of four with the cluster of three next so first we're gonna form a cluster of four by putting two green ones on the right string and selling up with the green one and we're gonna align our ends too slide that one bead and make sure that both ends are of similar length and I forgot to mention that I'm using one arm length of string for this other arm so now that we're here we have formed the cluster of four insert your left string to that one adjacent yellow bead 
downwards. I'm gonna form a cluster of three. So I'm gonna sell up with one green bead. So I'll up with one green bead to form a cluster of three. And then insert your left string through these two adjacent yellow beads. Take your other string and insert it through this one adjacent green bead. Form a cluster of three from the other side by salico with one green bead. Then after this, we're gonna make uh, two rounds of clusters of four around this cluster of five here. Okay? So to start off, we're gonna put two green beads on the right string and then select up with the green bead. Insert your left string to that one adjacent green bead. Form another cluster of four by putting one green bead and then silico with the green bead. Then work on it around. I'm gonna catch up with you after that, okay? Hi right, guys, so now that we have worked on most of the clusters so far around, we're now on the end part of it. So insert your left string to this one adjacent yellow bead and also the one next to it or on top of it, which is the green one. And here is where we're going to silico. And then we're going to form another round of clusters of four. So to start off, we're going to put two green ones on the right string. Silly copy the green one. And then just work on clusters of four around. And just like the first arm, we're just going to fasten it off. So as to tighten it and then we're gonna hide the string through several beads and then cut it okay so that is gonna be the second the second arm for our bear so after making the cluster so far around just fasten it off and then I'm gonna catch up with you after okay Okay guys, so now that you have worked on both of the arms, it should look like this. Or like this one. So the next thing to make is gonna be the feet part of the bear. So we're gonna position it on the clusters of 5 in between the cluster of 6 here. In the middle part. So the first is going to be from this cluster of five here so what we need to do is we're gonna have to insert our string that we cut for approximately one arm length then we're going to insert it through this side part of the cluster of five and then we're gonna make clusters of four around that cluster of five so i'm gonna use another color of bead so that you can see it Insert two uh, orange bead on the right and then silic up with a orange bead. Align both ends since this is to start and then slide that one bead so that's to go to the rest of the bead to form a cluster of four. So there are three orange ones on top of the yellow one. So make another cluster of four. Insert your left string to that one adjacent yellow bead to form a cluster of four uh, put one orange bead on the right and then salik up with the orange bead and this feet part also has uh, three rounds to it so just work on clusters of four around the cluster of five for the first round of the feet 
and then I'm gonna catch up with you after, okay?